All right, welcome to another episode of At The Closing Table. I have my client here. Obviously, we're not at the closing table. We're actually in your new place. Yes. Congratulations. So we saw close to, I think, what, 30 places? What made you pick this one, I guess? The fact that it had so much room, with open concept, um, and the fact that, I mean, a lot of the newer builds were just very small, compartmentalized rooms. Um, and when you have a piano, it would be nice to also have a couch so it doesn't feel like it's the entire living area. So this was really the only one, the second place that we saw that had enough room to feel like you could breathe and stretch out your arms without, you know, with the piano and still feel like you're not overwhelmed by it. Okay. And then I do want to take this back, you know, uh, sorry for getting here, actually to before we met, uh, what... How'd you get to the point of being able to purchase your first home? Uh, I've saved every cent since I was a child. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> and am very stingy on purchases for myself. Okay. Yes. And how, how so realistically, like that long? Like... So it was really literally living in crappy places and saving every penny you can. And then pandemic ha happening and also lowering interest rates uh -huh. to a point that it's, you know, not as overwhelming as it could be otherwise. And then you decided, I'm going to go buy a house for the first time. Yeah, no problem. Oh, it's pandemic. I have lots of time on my hands now. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, the rent in Boston is so bad that, you know, uh, without the homeowners association fee, this place is $300 more than I was paying for a, the crappiest apartment I've oh, ever yeah. lived in. It was a basement unit with no natural light, no laundry, um, lots of cockroaches. Um, and it was not very pleasant and especially spending so much time at home because of the pandemic, it was a little bit sort of claustrophobic to, to spend so much time there. Yeah, I saw the place. <laughs> <laughs> so going from there, I got into this mix, we went toward a bunch of properties. Yeah. Um, and then we ended up, who'd you use for a lender? Matt Tram. Matt Tram from Total Mortgage. Uh, did you talk to anyone else as far as lending goes? I or? did not. Matt was great. And awesome, once I yeah. talked to Matt, I was like, I don't want to give you my money rather than <laughs> probably the other in better interest rates that I've heard from that my friends have been getting. But no, again, that's awesome. But everything, it, he made it super easy and everything was on time and he was very responsive and we closed in less than 45 days, which yeah. was fantastic. And then uh, you also went with my recommendation for an attorney. Yes, Christina. She's also amazing. I mean, the whole team was like, it couldn't have gone smoother. It was the least stressful experience I could have ever hoped for. What I want to hear. And if you feel comfortable with the people that you're working with, it makes the whole process just so much more bearable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We really saw a ton of places. Yes. But I didn't mind that at all. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you. And so... So let's talk about how we ended up in this place okay. to begin with yes. and how we secured it. Yes. So I found this place on Zillow, mm -hmm. I think. And I had seen it once before and I was like, nah, it's too nice. I don't think I'm going to get it. And then it was still up. So I sent it to Alan and I think we were going to see it just like immediately the next day. And he called mm -hmm. the okay. listing agent and he was like, oh, it's only serious offers and they're due by noon the next day. And again, I had to pay a fee to get out of my previous lease. So I was in absolutely no rush to get a place. And I told you that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted to make sure not to get your hopes up. So you told me the day before. Yes. I called Ken, who's a listing agent, who's amazing. Uh, shout out. And then he was like, offers are due at a certain timeline. Can you see the place and put an offer? And he's like, we can make it happen. Yeah. So we came in here, we saw it, loved the place, yeah. and then literally drove back to your, your place, yeah. put the offer together. Went to my basement dungeon. Into your basement dungeon. Yes, it was very inspiring together. to make it happen. And uh, yeah, it was, I think it was like a six hour turnaround basically from seeing yeah. the place to, oh, your offer has been accepted. Yeah, I wrote a heart wrenching letter. <laughs> so that, that also, I think, played an effect too. Yes. So when we saw the place, uh, we were outside, the neighbor, there was a two unit. House. I knocked on her door because with the piano, you learn quickly, your neighbors have to be okay with you practicing and they can't just say they like music. Like they have to know you're going to practice. First thing I did was say, let me meet the neighbor. Um, she was outside and uh, she said, oh, she had done, as a, she's done her master's in sacred music. So she 
knows what it's kind of like. You know, we included that in there that, you know, we had met the neighbor and she was very okay with us and actually very friendly. She's super, uh, she is super friendly. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. So I think that was a huge factor in getting the offer us up to and then and the sellers wanting to work with us. Yeah. And we were up against an all cash offer. Which takes a lot to be an all cash so offer. So I, yeah, I think in the letter I wrote enough pleading yeah. things about how I love the place so much, which is better than probably just sending a blank. Exactly. Then you're just a number. A number to them. All right. Fantastic. So I think that quote wraps it up. Uh, thank you for uh, doing this and helping the next generation of uh, first-time homebuyers. Good luck, guys. <laughs>